Another concern Queen must keep an eye on. Camilla deals with awkwardness if succeeding Queen title. Camilla, the Duchess of Cornwall, has been advised by a royal expert to wait a suitable gap after the reign of the current Queen has ended, before making an announcement on her future title. The Duchess of Cornwall faces an issue regarding her future title, as a royal expert notes that it could be perceived as insensitive to be declared Queen shortly after the passing of the current Queen Elizabeth II. Ahead of her 2005 wedding to Prince Charles, Clarence House issued a statement to say that Camilla would be known as Princess Consort after her husband ascended to the throne, but several recent reports suggest that she could receive the Queen title. Royal photographer and biographer Ian Lloyd said, whether she chooses to call herself that is another matter, the only thing that we have is that statement in 2005 that she would be princess consort. I think it would be regrettable if she wasn't queen, the problem is calling her the queen immediately after the present queen's region has ended would be awkward I think. I think that previous queen consorts have felt the same, if you succeed immediately after the death of a queen, it just seems insensitive. Firstly, I would wait for a suitable gap to put the announcement, say from the moment of the coronation which would be approximately a year after Charles succeeds to the throne, that then she would be known as Her Majesty the Queen. He also stated his belief that a public demonstration of support from the Queen could be beneficial in securing Camilla's future position. Mr Lloyd continued, I think secondly, I think it would be very useful for the present Queen to issue a statement saying that she values the work that Camilla has done and that she hopes that she would succeed her as Queen. Not an order or instruction, nothing formal but a suggestion to put it out there so that it's set up ready. In 2018, the 95-year-old monarch publicly endorsed the Prince of Wales to become the next head of the Commonwealth, by lobbying world leaders on his behalf at the Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting. The Duchess of Cornwall married the future king in a private ceremony at Windsor Guildhall in April 2005. The couple had first embarked on a relationship during the 1970s, but went on to marry other partners. After remaining close friends for several years, they began an extramarital affair during the 1980s which was exposed during the breakdown of Charles' marriage to Princess Diana. Following the separation of the Prince and Princess of Wales, Camilla's popularity suffered with the British public and she was frequently targeted by the press. This only worsened after the tragic death of Diana in a car accident in 1997, sparking an unprecedented level of mourning. In a bid to improve Camilla's reputation, Charles hired a public relations executive to help rehabilitate her image. The announcement from Clarence House which stated that Camilla would take the title of Princess Consort, was reportedly done out of respect for Diana, and also to appease members of the public who continued to think negatively of their relationship. Whilst this statement had appeared on the couple's website, it has since disappeared. Prince Charles also has not ruled out the possibility of his wife becoming Queen, telling an interviewer in 2010, that's, well, we'll see won't we? That could be. In recent years, Camilla's popularity has drastically improved as she's championed women's rights and the safety of domestic abuse victims. According to a current YouGov poll, she is currently ranked as the 10th most popular member of the royal family, ahead of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. She also frequently accompanies the Queen during formal engagements, and is believed to enjoy a warm relationship with her mother-in-law. After ascending to the throne in 1952, the Queen has been on the throne for over 69 years and will celebrate her Platinum Jubilee next June. The 95-year-old monarch's eldest son and heir, Charles, Prince of Wales, has been shouldering more of the burden of official duties for several years, including overseas. But his wife, Camilla, is increasingly stepping into the fray both online during coronavirus pandemic restrictions in the past year and now in person, after curbs were lifted.